guys and girls, in this video, we're going to take a look at the best Samsung Galaxy phones. I made my research and this list reflects my personal opinion, and I've listed products based on quality, durability, price, and more. I've included options for every type of consumer, so if you're looking for an entry-level option or the best product money can buy, we may have the product for you in this list. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. The products mentioned are in no exact order, so be sure to stay to the end so you don't miss anything. Also, if you want a chance to win one of the Samsung Galaxy phones in the video, just subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell, and leave a comment with a hidden word in the video. We will pick a winner and notify him when we reach 5,000 likes. And don't forget to join our community telegram channel linked in the description so we can contact you if you win. Okay, so without further ado, this is our pick of the best Samsung Galaxies on the market right now. Number 9. We've got the Samsung Galaxy A52 5G. Cons? Underwhelming performance, inconsistent fingerprint sensor, better value elsewhere. Thinking of a balanced, well-consisted mid-range smartphone package, the Samsung Galaxy A52 5G comes with mind-blowing features like excellent 120Hz Super AMOLED display, IP67 water resistance, a LED 64MP camera with OIS, a 3.5mm headphone jack, and 4 years of security updates. It's not perfect though, performance could and should be better for the money. The fingerprint sensor is curiously subpar. This isn't an all-time classic Samsung design. However, considering the pros, it comes with a nice 120Hz display, water-resistant design, and a decent OIS leading camera. Coming in at number 8, Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. If you have some drawbacks about this Samsung Galaxy phone, the Galaxy S21 FE fundamentally changes the value equation for Samsung and it continues to be one of the best Android phones you can buy even a year after its release. The phone offers more of the same features as last year's Galaxy S21, but the fact that it's available unlocked for $700 or even lesser sometimes makes it a standout value. What's more? The Galaxy S21 FE is powered by the same Snapdragon 888 chipset in the Galaxy S21 series, so you also get 5G connectivity. It offers the same excellent AMOLED screen and has a 120Hz refresh rate, making everyday interactions buttery smooth. However, the best part is that it has the same 12 megapixel primary sensor as the regular S21, ensuring you get the same great caliber of photos in any lighting condition. Lastly, the Galaxy S21 FE comes with one UI 4 out of the box ensuring you get Android 12 from day one. The only downside with the phone, if you can call it that, is that it has a plastic back instead of glass, but the matte texture masks its plastic build. So, if you're looking to save some cash, you can pick up the S21 FE instead of the regular Galaxy S21. Some may even go for the S21 FE over the Galaxy S22. Coming at number 7, Galaxy A32 5G. From all indications, Samsung isn't resting on its laurels with the affordable 5G smartphone market any moment soon. Featuring the A32 and a sub $300 5G capable smartphone, it spots many things people love about the Galaxy phones, but with some corners cut to keep the price down. The biggest downside of this smartphone is the underwhelming display. This combined with the low resolution doesn't make it look great in person. However, if you're strapped for cash and want a phone with decent cameras, the Galaxy A32 5G is one you should consider. With its big 6.5 inch screen, the A32 is not a small phone, plus it packs a 5000 mAh battery that lasts a long time, almost 12 hours in our testing with its adapted refresh rate enabled. If you are one of Samsung's loyal fans, you can expect the Galaxy A32 to go for longer than many other budget options, with Samsung promising 3 years of Android updates and 4 years of security patches. 
Number 6. Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G Coming with elegant design, lower price, and S Pen support, the Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G is the second times charm for Samsung with an earning of CNET Editor's Choice Award. The Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G, unveiled alongside Samsung Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus smartphones, proves that sometimes you have to do something twice to get it right. While just as bold as last year's Galaxy S20 Ultra, the S21 Ultra is a refined second take on the concept. There's still the 100 times space zoom, but then it's easier to use. And if you want the absolute best specs and features, the S21 Ultra is undoubtedly appealing. The phone will attract camera nerds thanks to the improvements. The addition of S Pen support, it's the first Galaxy S phone to support the stylus, will likely catch the eye of Galaxy Note users looking for a different option. Overall, the S21 Ultra is a major update, both in terms of hardware and software, over the S20 Ultra. And when you factor in the lower price, it all kind of makes sense. If you ask me, I will say that this is why Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra earned a CNET's Editor's Choice Award. Ready to buy? Hit the link in the description below to get one. Coming in at number 5, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. Starting at $999, the Galaxy Z Flip 3 is the first affordable foldable phone that offers top-end specs and the ability to fold it in half horizontally. This makes for a very pocketable device that packs a serious punch. That said, the Galaxy Z Flip 3 has notable flaws, such as a short battery life. In our testing, it lasted for just 6 hours when the display was locked at 60 Hz, and the Flip 3 lacks a telephoto lens, unlike other phones at this price range. But the Galaxy Z Flip 3 is a novel thing, allowing you to choose the colors of the frame as well as the front and back panel, as well as an option to add your unique flair to an already unique looking device. Coming in at number 4, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is the last of the Note series, so if you're interested in a traditional high-end phone with a large screen, this should be your obvious choice. The phone has a massive 6.9-inch dynamic AMOLED panel, and it is powered by the Snapdragon 865 Plus chipset. You also get 12GB of RAM as standard, with storage options of 128GB to 512GB. The Note 20 Ultra is the phone you get if you want one of the largest phones on the market, even today. The large screen is ideally suited for games and consuming videos. The 120Hz AMOLED panel has outstanding colors, delivers HDR10 content in Netflix and other streaming services, and you get stereo sound. Then there's the stylus. So if you're used to using a stylus on earlier Note devices, there's plenty to like on the Note 20 Ultra. Samsung made it easier to take notes thanks to its lower latency, and there are better handwriting recognition features that make the device an ultimate tool for your productivity. Number 3. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 The 2020 Galaxy Z Fold 2 set the bar for foldable devices that also serves as mini tablets. At first glance, the Z Fold 3 may appear to be just a minor update to the Z Fold 2, but at a starting price of $200 less. Samsung provides S Pen support and IPX8 water resistance. These were two features many have asked for, and Samsung delivered once again. In addition to a couple of new features, the cover display resolution and refresh rate were updated, so you get a high-resolution display with 120Hz support constructed of Corning Gorilla Glass Victus. The main display has improved panels and a screen protector that provides an 80% increase in its durability. The three main cameras are the same, but the new under-display camera is a step forward in mobile technology that's great for video conferencing, even if it can't quite compete yet with its more obvious counterparts. Coming at number 2, Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra 5G. Samsung's first flagship phone of 2022 was released as the Galaxy S22 Ultra 5G. While the S21 Ultra from 2021 support the S Pen, there is no way to store, carry, or charge up the S Pen. 
With the S22 Ultra, Samsung has fully embraced it as the Note successor with an S Pen silo, flat and square design elements, and all of the latest and greatest specifications in a smartphone. The Galaxy S22 phones were the first to launch widely with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor inside, while the same resolution cameras are found in this year's S22 Ultra. Samsung improved the camera's capabilities, especially in terms of low-light shooting. With two telephoto cameras, Samsung stands out from Apple and Google with fantastic zoom capability. Number 1. Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus While it may not be very compact, the Galaxy S22 Plus has a lot to offer, even if it's priced a little more than its 2021 predecessor. Samsung took last year's design and finessed it, replacing the plastic with one made of glass and possibly giving it the best looking S22 of them all. While there's no micro SD slot or a charger in the box, the base version comes with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. You also get reliable cameras, decent battery life, and all the extras you care about. IP68 water resistance, 15 watt wireless charging, and reverse wireless charging. Of course, the best part about the Galaxy S22 Plus is the software. Samsung will deliver monthly security updates, 4 guaranteed Android version updates, and 5 years of patches. That alone makes the S22 Plus stand out from its rivals, and the fact that it gets more platform updates than Google's own Pixel 6 Pro is just the icing on the cake. That brings us to the end of our review and buyer's guide for the best Samsung Galaxy phones. Hope to see you in the next video. Let us know in the comments what is your favorite one. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when we launch new videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.